I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. He's coming. Are you coming? <laughs> I'll put you off now. Come on, we can't start the vlog until you're here. Hello everyone. Um, I think I've just broken my bed just jumping on it like that. Come on then. Would it be the start of one of my vlogs if we weren't picking up this little munchkin? Um, yes, I'm going to do another vlog today. Um, I've just finished filming a podcast actually. I filmed um, one all about body confidence. Um, so that will be up the week before this one. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, but I want to do a Christmas clean and bake with me today. Little disclaimer, we're starting with a disclaimer. Um, so a lot of the Christmas clean with me's I see, and I'm guilty of it last year as well, they are made Christmas clean with me's because they include a lot of Christmas scented stuff, a load of cleaning things, and I am here to say that is not what this video will be because, I mean, everyone's talking about the cost of living at the moment. You do not need to go out to Home Bargains, B&M and buy tons of money worth of Christmas scented things in order to feel like Christmas. I'm going to be baking Christmas cake today so that is going to make my whole house smell incredible and I do have a Zaflora scent as well. Let me just get it as well because they're only, I think they're £1 the Zafloras so much more affordable than getting every cleaning product you can think of in a Christmas scent. Note that's, I've got that one as well, that's warm cinnamon. I like to use that more around autumn time. Oh, do you know what? I don't. Well, I had one <laughs> that was like fir tree. So we'll use the cinnamon, that's kind of um, Christmassy. It will actually go with the scent of the Christmas cake as well. Um, so I just wanted to make that disclaimer because I feel like there's a lot of pressure, especially when you do um, YouTube to uphold a certain standard or do things the same way as everyone else and that's not how I want to do it this year. Um, last year I remember as well getting, feeling pressured to put my decorations up early because everyone was putting their videos up and getting loads of great views and I'm not doing it this year, I'm not getting sucked in, I am not capitalism <laughs> I'm not capitalism and I'm not all about views and money so I'm just going to do what I would normally do which is I need to make a Christmas cake and my house needs a tidy and a clean so we're going to give it a good clean and that's what this vlog is going to be Christmas clean and bake with me yay let me show you the state of my um kitchen right now this is the state of my beauty table because that's where I film my podcast so I need to tidy that as well but let me show you this Dun, dun, dun. not looking the best so this is my heated area that I have been using but I'm not using it today in fact I lie I lie I lie I've got clothes in here that need to go out so I will be keeping this up and unloading the clothes onto there got all this stuff out on the side let me show you my Christmas cards I got these are from Bernardo's which is a charity shop look how cute that is they were quite expensive they were like 10 for I think it was £3.50 but I just loved them and it's supporting a good cause. These are the other ones. Little donkeys. So happy with them. Also, I ordered this. This is a new Christmas tree stand. So we've had the same Christmas tree for years now. I think it was only £20 from b q when we got it. But last year the um, stand broke. So I found this online and I need to insert the rest of these little legs into this. Um, but they hold like artificial trees and I looked this year and the trees were just so expensive and I just thought no do you know what I like my tree I'm just going to try this it was about £13 so I'm going to try this first and then if that doesn't work I'm going to try and contact B&Q and see if they will give me another stand or if I could just pay for one but anyway I'll keep you updated on that so yes this is what everything's looking like out on the side wow that looks pretty bad doesn't it and then I'll show you the recipe for my Christmas, oh good gravy, um, the recipe for my Christmas cakes because I got a few questions about it. So it's from this really old um, baking book from b -Row. I think it was quite popular back in the day and I used this, let me 
try and find it. Hang on a minute, this can be difficult with one hand. Okay, one minute, I'll be back once I've found the page. Okay, here it is. So this is the Christmas cake recipe I follow. So if you want to take a screenshot, there you go. Um, the one thing is, I think these um, are out of date, like how you bake it. Um, so I do mine, I think it, I do mine about 180 degrees Celsius and I probably do it for maybe two hours. I just kind of play it by ear. So yes, that's what I'm going to be making. But first I'm going to clean the kitchen because I can't do any fun baking until this place is clean. Now that is the kitchen looking a lot more put together. So first of all, we did the um, clothes hanging out, which was not very Christmassy, but I'm telling myself if I put Christmas music over this, it will class as a Christmas video. Woo! <laughs> um, and then I've done all the dishes. So my mind is clear now for baking. So I've also run a bowl of hot soapy water. I always do this when I bake, just so I can chuck everything in as I go. And then the cleaning up process is easier. So I've got the start of my ingredients out here. I'm gonna get my book out ready and then time to bake. So I need to pick a baking apron now. So I've got my missus one. This isn't my favorite because the material, like you can't wipe your hands on it. Then I've got Hattie the Baking Queen. I've got this one, which I suppose this one is probably the most Christmassy because they kind of look like baubles in a way. 
Um, I've got this one. I actually got this as a Christmas present. It's got all like measurements and stuff. This is just a little skirt one, so I won't use that. And then this little blue one. Can't decide. I think I'm going to go for this one, you know. A bit of colour. Why not? Okay, so I thought I'd just quickly stop to explain what I've done so far, just in case any of you do want to make your own Christmas cake this year and follow along. So, you make three different mixtures. So this is the dry mixture. So this is just plain flour, um, mixed spice and ground almonds. This is eggs, brandy and milk. You don't have to put brandy in, but personally, the secret to my Christmas cake is brandy in the recipe and then loads of brandy over the top over the next couple of weeks. And then finally, this is just your standard um, baking butter and sugar that you start pretty much every recipe with. So what we will do now to this bowl, we will add a little bit of the dry mixture and a little bit of the, um, the milk and eggs and brandy each little bit at a time until it's all combined and then we'll add the fruit and that is essentially it. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe you're missing I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow whatever we do we will be all right these holiday wonders will open your mind may all your wishes tonight come true the love I live the dream I knew this Christmas I only want
Magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Moving nimbly, did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. So that is the baking part done. I've got my cake in the oven, so I can't wait for it to start smelling of the Christmas cake, because this is the time of year, as soon as I smell it, I'm like, yes, Christmas is coming. So now I'm left with this monstrosity. I know I said I ran this lovely hot bath of soapy water. Have I thrown anything in there as I went, as intended? No, no, I have not. So. Time to start the clean up now. I'm not going to bore you with showing you doing the dishes again. I'm just gonna show a general clean up and then the dishes will be magically done. <laughs> So while I'm waiting for the cake to finish baking, I'm going to clean as much of the house as I can. So it's gonna take, well, the cake will probably take about two hours. I'll probably do about 45 minutes an hour of cleaning because any more than that, then I will just be not feeling it at the end. So I'm gonna do what I can. Um, but I love baking for this reason because it gives you like a lovely time in the middle where you can just I don't know entertain yourself look after your house chill for a little bit and you feel productive no matter what you do because essentially you're still baking <laughs> but i am gonna clean do you want the toilet ma do you want to go out okay, i'm just looking at you do you want to get he sometimes does this when he doesn't want to go out he just wants his food yeah he doesn't want to go out do you let's see oh he does okay god i was going for a wee okay wait for this <laughs> one room done my hoover 
just annoyingly lost battery. I forgot to charge it again. So um, that is now charging. I really want to get a Hetty or Henry Hoover because that just annoys me. <laughs> so that's this room done, looking a lot better. I'm going to sell this bike soon now that I am um, back in the gym and it's just a bit of an eyesore in here. So I'm going to sell that soon. But everything else is looking good. I'm going to move to the bathroom now. Room looking a little bit better. I feel like I'm smashing my way through this clean. It's only been about maybe 20 minutes since I started, maybe even less, but I'm getting through it. So I've just done the toilet, sink, bath. I've just sprayed the mats because it's not towel washing day and I've not cleaned the floor because it's not like my proper bathroom cleaning sesh. Um, the only thing that now looks messy in here is my swimming stuff. So if you don't follow my channel, <laughs> that probably sounded really strange why I just got all excited about my swimming stuff. But um, I don't know if I've mentioned in the vlog yet. Um, I've definitely mentioned it on my Instagram stories. But I was really nervous to go swimming. I joined a new gym and I wanted to go swimming. But I was really nervous, body confidence wise, just just little things like finding a locker and just knowing where you're supposed to go. But I went for the first time yesterday and it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. So I've got all my swimming stuff hung up with pride <laughs> so um what's next i would do the whole hoovering but the stupid hoover is charging so i might go into the second bedroom i've got loads of laundry to sort out so i will do that now so brace yourselves guys because if you want to judge me i fully give you permission to this is the pile of stuff i need to sort out that is all my clothes clean and otherwise I've just dumped into one spot in my wardrobe so I need to sort through all that. Dona Murphy I'm a disgrace and there's some pyjama pants on the floor. Naughty me, naughty me. <laughs> done the cleaning that really needed doing wow this lighting is so bad um so the kitchen is looking much more put together i've got my k 
tape going nicely in there, as you can see. Probably be another hour or two. Please excuse my messy oven. I got my getting a love. <laughs> You're a good boy, aren't you? He's waiting for his dinner. Yeah, so everything is done that really needs to be done. I'm quite tired tonight, actually. So I think what I'm going to do is just relax and chill for a little bit. I need to get dinner on in the next hour or something so I'm gonna relax until that I'm just gonna make a chili tonight like a really easy one like literally mince home pride chili sauce rice and chips that's all I'm gonna do so I'm gonna make that in a little bit but I'm just gonna pause this vlog for now just while I chill for one hour need an hour to chill I'll probably have a nap <laughs> the night before Christmas I was closing down for business in my little prison shop when the bell on the door jingled once more and then time almost came to a stop So I've just come on to edit this video and realised I didn't even end it. I think that night I was so exhausted so I literally took the cake out of the oven, left it in its um, tin overnight and then the next day I kind of just got it out and put some brandy over it. But how I will finish it now, um, so I will like feed it with brandy probably maybe at the minimum once a week. Some days I go absolutely crazy. <laughs> it depends how much you like alcohol in your Christmas cake. Personally, I'm a huge fan of brandy in the old Christmas cake, so I will put a lot in. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.